Ooh. Did I get it on you? <laughs> yeah, it's okay. <laughs> Coke Zero. Now we're delicious. <laughs> <laughs> Good evening. Welcome to Ridge Life. I'm Tim, and today on Ramblings, we've got... Chin Chin. Again. Um, <laughs> it has been... An eventful weekend. Yeah, we've had a really good weekend. Good weekend. Yeah. Very good weekend. Done a lot. Very eventful weekend. It's kind of our last weekend for a long time. Yeah. Two At weeks. Two weekends, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not going to be with Jin Jin next weekend. She's leaving me. She's had enough. Saying, see y'all. <laughs> I still love Easter, baby. No, I'm leaving her. Adios. <laughs> Adios, amigos. Look at this dog. What is he doing? You can't see Tater, but he is just like, I'm going to draw the tension away from you guys. He's laying in the grass, just going, <laughs> getting grass and everything. I'm not kidding. He's digging a hole in the, okay. Yeah, just, just all over us. Okay, so I'm going fishing next weekend with the family of fellows, 16 of us. And uh, that's, that's going to be pretty. Uh, You're going to have a blast. It's going to be a blast. It really is. Yeah. It's going to be a blast. Because there's some really. I mean, there's some characters going. Oh, yeah. We got Mike from DD5, of course. Drew. Drew. <laughs> David. Bobblehead. There are some unique individuals going on this trip, right? Oh, yeah. And people we've never met before. Gary's brother from Simple Life Crime. Gary's brother. Yeah. Uh, we also have Anthony's got two or three of his friends coming. So that's going to be pretty exciting to have you know, these new elements to the team. So a lot of folks but that's not what today's about is it no Whew, so um we finished the bees we did we finished the bees uh it was eventful it was a little scary yeah <laughs> um Jin Jin got to go inside the bees herself yesterday we said we said we told you she was going to she did it i loved it i had a lot of fun i really did i, I thought she would thought it would more, be more intense than she did but no she didn't um, but today was intense, wasn't it? Very, very. <laughs> it got even more intense. Um, at one point, the ridge up where the barn, uh, barn house is being built yeah, was house. covered in bees. I mean, it looked like a swarm. It looked like Arkansas with mosquitoes. It looked like Arkansas sky. with mosquitoes, but it was all bees. It was pretty crazy. You'll get to see that on uh, not the next uh, Ridge Life video, but the one after that. And guys, I do gotta apologize. I said today at three o'clock, they were gonna get the um, the patio being poured in concrete. Did. Yeah. did not, did not. I have got to get that done today because I, I, I go to work in the morning. I can't edit yeah. in the morning. So for you all to get it tomorrow, I gotta edit, finish editing it tonight. Uh, probably while she, I can't, I gotta get to bed early too. I gotta get up at four o'clock, 4.20. I want to finish watching Bad Boys while you do that, I yeah, think. Yeah, so. he, he watched most of it with me last night until we got really sleepy. We, we've we been going to bed early. <laughs> we went to bed we've early every night. Yes, we did. Because, uh, you know, I'm having to get up earlier again. I normally get up between 6 and 7. Uh, yeah. I actually call uh, uh, my son every morning. And uh, you give him a good, a good morning off to college uh, day. Uh, but now I'm having to get up way before that. What's he doing? <laughs> I hope they can see him. I know. I think they're just zoomed in on us. He is. <laughs> he's, he's dust bathing. He's du like a chicken. <laughs> he's dust bathing like a chicken. Psh, crazy dog. But, um, so we, I've got to finish that video for you guys so you can get that out tomorrow. That is, you saw some of the video from it, from the pouring the concrete. And I did, the, uh, yeah. What do you think yeah. about that? It looks, the, the concrete, I said, it looks like I'm laying in there with it while it's being poured. I tried to get... The, the video was great. So the first yeah. video I did for this job, uh, digging the footers and everything, I didn't talk much, and it was just like a, a first-person view. The second one I did, I did more narration and time lapses and music. This third one is going to be a combination of the two, where yeah. you feel like you're there with all the concrete being poured, but the drama continues. Uh, this one's a big one, guys. This one is a big one. The, the whole fate of the barn house build is, is in this video. I might not be, I don't know if I can say. Oh my goodness, it, it's that, don't it's, tell them. I don't wanna tell, I can't. 
you gotta watch you gotta watch tomorrow's video because there is some there is some I, I, I am I have lost sleep over it I have lost sleep over it and it's gonna cost me too it's gonna cost me you like, been, just you've been jingle, saying jingle. that a lot lately huh you? yeah <sighs> Uh, leaves and sleep over it and it's gonna cost me jingle and it does you know it does oh my goodness but you'll see you'll see in tomorrow's video goodness gracious so I got to go shopping yesterday <laughs> I was so happy to go shopping I love shopping we went to every store in the outdoor mall and uh, I got to I got to sit and wait and, and and hand her things and while she was in the dressing room I got to like talk to people it was just like the best day ever he did really good. It don't. It doesn't take me long to shop. I'm no. not one of those that just walk around the store. It was and, so easy. I yeah. got off way, yeah. way easy. But he took the motorcycle on purpose. He says. The reason I took the motorcycle, I said. She said, "Hey, uh, you know, she wants some boots for her birthday." I said, "Well, I can get those for you." And uh, let's let's go. There's this uh, outdoor mall. This really kind of ritzy, uppity outdoor mall yeah, in Collierville, nice. Tennessee, called um, uh, something Crossing. Uh, what was it called? Anyway, I forgot the name of it. I looked at it yesterday. I can't remember now. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why I can't think of it. Um, if y'all know the name of where we went in Collierville, something crossing. Is it Crossroads? Crossroads Crossing? No. So, no. Anyway, we went there. Close. It's really nice. Really, they have the Dillard's and they have uh, um, really nice, some, some really cool shops. But um, I said, let's take the motorcycle, right? You get whatever you want. Let's take the motorcycle, knowing that we've got our helmets and our gear, and I've got two saddlebags and a tour pack. <laughs> it's I not said, whatever I get want. whatever you want. <laughs> asterisk, 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 that can fit in the saddlebag, right. in, in the tour pack. <laughs> and we filled it up. I did get quite a bit, though. Yeah. yeah. Um, Stuff I was actually going for. She got her boots. I did. Um, oh, you want to show me your boots? Yeah. Check it out. She she got her some boots. She'd been wanting some of these like this. Let's got see. them on sale too. I did. They were on sale. Woo! Hi. Lady. And they they fit perfectly. I have little skinny chicken legs, and yep. and they fit those. They have like elastic legs. back, and then like the leather yeah. front, and they have mm -hmm. this little uh, anklet thing on them. And uh, very, they look very, very good on there. But yeah, imagine this in, in his, uh, what is that called? <laughs> tour pack. Tour pack. So yeah. that was in the tour pack in the back of the motorcycle. And um, she's going to, while I'm fishing, she's going to a Halloween costume party. And you guys all, I'm predominantly, we had some, uh, we had some. Um, yeah, there was some good ones. Like, we had uh, Wonder Woman. Wonder you Woman. Would, definitely, would definitely be a really yeah. good Wonder Woman. Yeah. But the predominant thing that they think you should be was Elvira. Elvira. <laughs> not that Elvira. <laughs> I, I looked for costumes like that and couldn't find it. There was not a Wonder Woman. There was not Elvira. But we did go to Spirit Halloween. You've never been there before, have you? I've never been to a Halloween store, period. That was a, and of course, that, that you know, there was room after room after room of costumes, adult costumes, yeah. right? Um, what was some of your, not the one you got, what was some of the favorite costumes you saw? Peanut butter jelly time. We, if we were going to the party together, I like, I pretty much eat a peanut butter and jelly sandwich now every night. For, well, not every, well, every third, second, third night. I, that, that's my kind of uh, nighttime snack. I don't do Oreos anymore. I don't do, you know, uh, Nutter Butters or Pop-Tarts. I used to, man, I used to love me some fudge Pop-Tarts or some yeah. strawberry. Now I'm getting kind of hungry. <laughs> Uh, they had chips and salsa. They had chips and salsa costume. I like that one. I could have been chips. She's <laughs> spicy with a salsa. But uh, the peanut butter and jelly time, yeah. which one would you have been? Peanut butter and jelly. Pe peanut butter jelly. And jelly because I'm sweet. She'd have been jelly and <laughs> peanut butter because I'm nuts. <laughs> That's right. That's right. He knows what's up. <laughs> oh, okay. Anyway, y'all. Okay. Can I get up there and show Yeah, 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 yeah. This is what I'm going to be. I thought it was really cute. It's a sweet scarecrow. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let me see this. Yeah, so it, she, look, it looked cute on She's not a scary scarecrow. She's a sweet scarecrow. Has these leggings on there with the straw tops. Has this little uh, really cute uh, skirt dress thing. Uh, it really uh, accentuates for figure if you know what i'm saying all right has the little uh the little uh straw hat and she's gonna do her little nose like that very very cute so yeah. i thought this was a uh, very very good um 
But they had a lot of really cool costumes they there. They did, yeah. Right, cool. Definitely. So, but I'm not going to the costume co uh, party. That's just gonna be Jin Jin and all her friends and everything. So, hey friends, wish I could be there with you. Maybe next time. <laughs> uh, but I'm gonna be fishing, catching, <laughs> catching the trout, catching but the trout. We were leaving, and I thought, what kind of shoes am I gonna wear with that? Because they didn't have shoes in there. And we were right next door to Goodwill. Okay, so we went. <laughs> Mall shopping for the boots. Then we went mall shopping because the Spirit Halloween was right there in that whole area. Carriage crossing. Carriage crossing. Bop. Boom. Okay, yeah. Boom. Got it. Yeah. You said carriage crossing. You're right. Um, so we went to um, uh, Spirit Halloween, and right next door, you said was Goodwill. Her favorite store in the world. And I thought, because <laughs> we I love shopping we, in we there. went to uh, <laughs> Pear Gould, Arkansas, one time. Yeah. And she said, "Oh, a new Goodwill. I haven't been to this one." I've already emptied out the other ones. Actually, I've been in that one many times. And she still emptied it out. We were in a in the F-250 and we had the whole bed full. And what was like, I needed I was... Had, I almost rented a U-Haul. I needed dresses and I just <laughs> grabbed a bunch of dresses. They wouldn't let you try them on, so I was just like, held it up. That looks oh, good. Oh, you can't try stuff on there? There are certain ones that... I bet yeah, people steal them. Steal. Yeah, I mean... Which yeah. their prices are going way up. Mm. It's kind of crazy, but uh, yeah. But we went to this Goodwill. Actually, no, I stayed outside by the motorcycle, didn't I? You did, yep. yeah. She went inside, and she was very quick. And what what, what, what what'd you go in there for, you said? Some shoes. Boots is what I was wanting. And uh, I found some Lucky brand little ankle boots to go with that. For so, the costume? Yeah, and they for had 25% the... off sale nice, that day. Nice, So. And the, the, the big boots were like, let's see. 79 They're forty dollars off. Yeah, forty dollars off. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, so she fit the big boots in there, the little boots in there, <laughs> and her costume in there. Our helmets, our jackets, and stuff. You know, when we, you know. So then we went to eat, right? We mm -hmm. ate at Carabas. She yeah. never been to a Carabas either, right? I Italian restaurant. If you might, you might have been to Carabas. Um, what'd you have? Chicken marsala with yep. uh, garlic mashed potatoes. And I had. Oh yeah, and you had a. Italian salad, yeah. right? It had little yeah. olives and onion. Yeah, I like the all the vegetables in it. Yeah, yeah. I had a Caesar salad. I'm a Caesar salad kind of guy. I just like the Parmesan and the Caesar sauce and the Caesar dressing and everything. It was good. But I had uh, shrimp and sea scallops. It's pretty much if shrimp and sea scallops are on the menu, you're gonna eat it. You know, yeah. I'm pretty much gonna eat it. That's that's just that's just the way that so is. So I had a little bit left, and um, I was like, I guess I'm leaving it here because there's no room. And he said. Well, if we get a small box, maybe we can make it work. So I, I fit everything in this little hamburger box. So she had like a, a half a half of her chicken marsala, ma garlic mat mashed potatoes, uh, really good bread. Oh, the bread, the oil, and the the, the yeah. regular the herbs. regular herb seasoning was. You know, anyway, she dumped good. all that in this little bitty hamburger box, <laughs> in a bag, and we stuffed it in the uh, saddle bags, and. We were going down the road, and I felt just like the Clampets with everything everything we own in the back of the... Because <laughs> she's so tall, too. So she's up high in the back. I mean, picture Beverly Hillbillies, the Clampet Mobile going to California, right? Uh, Granny's up. On, she's not Granny. She's not old. But Granny's up in her rocking chair on the very back top of the uh, Clampet Mobile. That's Jin Jin. You know, she's like 9 foot 11, you know, and I'm like 4 foot 2. And, uh, <laughs> I get all the wind. <laughs> so she's way above me, and we're riding, and I got all this stuff on the back of the bike, and it was a little bit chilly. It was very cold. <laughs> it was a, it was just over 50 degrees, and we rode the interstate home too. So we were at highway speeds, and uh, I had my new coat on. I, I got did. a new riding coat that was nice. She put on my riding jacket over her little jacket, and uh, that little that little wind riding jacket. It, it's not very insulating. It just keeps the wind off you. Yeah. But it's not very warm. Right. Yeah. And she had the balaclava on under her helmet, that little sock thing that goes over your head. That helped a lot, didn't it? It did. Yeah. I didn't even need to put glasses on or anything. But most of all, I got a long neck, and it covered my whole neck. So yeah, I was good. My legs froze to death. Yeah, the wind now. that wind was was hit, was hit was hitting hard. But we made it home. It was, yeah. it was nice. But he also bought me a pair of uh, like a <laughs> they had a bin that, of stuff that was on sale and I love fuzzy socks and they were and they cute it, fuzzy it socks. looked like someone had just like taken them apart and then they just wrapped them back up and put a sale sign on it or whatever. And it was four pairs of socks. Well, when I got here the 
the ones that I was looking forward to putting on because I was freezing, uh, there was only one sock to that pair in there. I was like, oh no. So the one she loved the best, there was only <laughs> one sock to it in the, in the, in the box. So. Uh, but that was a good day. It that happens. Was, that was a good day. Yeah. Uh, got up today and uh, prepared for the bees. I cleaned out all the bee, bee extracting equipment and everything. Uh, we went and ate some lunch. <coughs> Excuse me. I, I was editing a video all morning trying to get, you know, I, I got all the video, all the video clips in the timeline. So now this evening, all I got to do is edit it, you know, make it into a production and everything. So then we uh, started on the bees. And um, we had had, uh, from working the day before, we'd put some empty boxes up on the ridge. Yeah. And there was still some bees up there on them, right? I was trying to let them clean it out. And the neighbor was mowing over here, so I couldn't really get over here to, to do our bee work. So we went up to the ridge and uh, moved those boxes and everything. We were over in the corner, and we thought, okay, we're, we're going to be okay. We had no more than got the first or second frame scraped, and they started coming. Yeah. We went even over here along with it, and one, two, we had to hurry up and, yeah, so and we, get we it got, out of there. We, we did not finish up there. We actually got ran off the ridge by the bees. Yeah. Came down here because the neighbor was done mowing to finish it up. And within that much time, more bees came. So, uh, but we got the, the honey done. <clears throat> we, were we were amazed by what we saw this weekend. We were amazed. Uh, you will be amazed by this video too. I think you're really gonna like it. Uh, at, the, at the rate I'm going right now, uh, going back to work, you're probably gonna see that video Thursday. i probably get that out to them Thursday. So tomorrow I want them to see the, 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 the patio being poured, right? Yeah. And then the what we end up, <clears throat> the ordeal we're going through with the, the block, the foundation, the patio, being poured it turned out amazing you're gonna you're gonna like it i got her reaction to it right you did i yeah. got her reaction to it so um speaking of bees the bees have been so looking for hunt nectar and moisture because it hadn't rained again in forever she went out to the dog watering bowl and what did you see that yesterday um he was wanting to get a drink of water tighter and I not was me like, not me I was like, why is he I not drink drinking out of it? He was kind of hesitant, so I walked over there, and there was two or three bees, like, swimming, trying to not drown in the thing. So I was, I went over there, grabbed a leaf, and just set it down in there, and picked it up, and held it up for a minute in the sun, and it flew off. I did it again, and then one more time, and then finally he got down there and started drinking. Nice. <laughs> He's nice. like, thank you. Yeah, so the, so Tater wouldn't drink with the bees floating no, around he there. He, he, he must have gotten stung I sometime in the has. past. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, I got, I got stung. You did. I yeah. got on camera. I was on camera when I got stung sure too. Did, Remember that? Yeah. Uh, she, um, and see, I thought I was safe with all that um, I, jacket get up on. I, I told her she no. was safe. <laughs> No. I get stung every time. I get stung through I, the gloves, through the I my pants, my, my jeans. I had my jeans tucked in my shoes. I and told everything. her. I said, "Babe, you ain't got no jeans with holes in them this time, do you?" She said, "No, I got some. I guess she got some long jeans." I said, "They're long enough to go down your boots." She said, "Yeah." I said, "Good, go ahead." Yeah. I, didn't, I didn't tell her they could still sting her through the jeans. <laughs> I, what happens when you when you squat oh. down or bend over and they get tight and they stretch? Boom! They'll hit yeah. you every time. They'll yeah. hit you every time. They look for that, don't they? Oh yeah, they look for little breaks and little gaps in your, your gloves and skin and stuff. But they got me, there's these, there's these little areas on my gloves that are leather and then fabric and they like to really get right there at that transition. They, so I got whacked in the finger and it didn't really swell up that bad. I put some uh, uh, Stop the Sting and some Benadryl spray on it and it, 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 it's not too bad. But then a peculiar thing happened last night. I started itching all over. Haven't used any new soaps, haven't used any new shampoos or anything like that. And remember last year, around December, I actually came back from the uh, the family get-together at Mountain Magazine. I, I had a really bad rash. I had to go to the doctor for it. I went to a rheumatologist for it, a dermatologist, my regular doctor. I went to three different doctors for this rash that persisted for months. Mm -hmm. Well, now it's starting to come back. I don't know if it's a is seasonal it, allergy or is what. Is it still itching? Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, it's still itching. Well, I know he's like, really allergic to any kind of bugs that bite so yeah, yeah. maybe that uh, started in but last you're thinking night, maybe the maybe the bee sting is initiating this little thing 
It could also be, Jin Jin. You know, actually, you know what I think it is? What? Anxiety. Stress. Yeah. Because, you know, stress can bring on uh, physical reactions, right? Yeah. You know, dermatological, you can break out and, you know, hot, yeah, I break out in hives. And going back to work. I just went back to work, right? Friday was my first day back to work. Yeah. Um, uh, stress of getting the beat, getting the videos out, and uh, just go. You know, the fishing trips coming up, not getting to see you. Uh, just a lot, and you know, family and stuff. It's just probably a mixture of getting stung, stress, and seasonal allergies. Last night, my chest started getting tight. I was coughing during the oh, movie. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, he said, "You don't sound good." I said, "I don't feel good." I said, uh, you have some Mucinex? And he went in there and brought out some NyQuil and DayQuil for me, and I took some of the DayQuil. because so I, I really wanted to watch the movie. I usually fall asleep on stuff like that, but <laughs> I really wanted to watch it. I ended up falling asleep anyway. You, you made it through most of it. <laughs> I started getting sleepy, and uh, I said, hey, babe. And you said, uh, I said, I think we're going to call this one a night. <laughs> she said, okay, okay. Um, what's he tuning on over there? Can you see? Oh, it's a stick. I think it's a stick. I don't think it's my GoPro. <laughs> my GoPro's up there with the bees. Uh, yeah, I think yeah, it's, it's a stick. stick yeah. yeah. Um, let's see. What else? Was there anything else we were going to talk to the people about? We had a whole list of things. We're like, oh, when we do our ramble today, we we got to talk about this. We got to talk about this. And I you think know we what? We got it all. You know what would really help? What? A list. A list. <laughs> if I'd have made a list. Oh, what about when I called David this morning? Oh, Wasn't yeah. that funny? I called him and said, I said, David, are you okay? He said, huh? I said, are you okay? He said, yeah. I said, good, because Jin Jin was worried you hadn't <laughs> called me at all this morning. <laughs> we, thought, we thought something had happened to him because it was like 11 o'clock and he hadn't called Tim yet. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He was with a uh, Margarita. Yeah, he's getting ready for a ride. He said, I ain't got time for you. <laughs> I ain't got time for you. <laughs> but he still talked, didn't he? Yeah, he, he did. He, yeah, he, well, that's, he uh, let you go and then called you back later. Yeah. Yeah. He was picking her up and they jumped in the car and then he called me on the road there. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Had to get her something to eat. <laughs> you gotta get you gotta get some margarita or something to eat. He Otherwise he, it's gonna be a bad day. He said he was taking care of that first. Yeah. <laughs> we, you're gonna eat, and then we're gonna have a good day. Because I know if we don't get you something to eat, <laughs> it's gonna be a bad day. <laughs> it was funny. Oh, uh, and here comes Tater going, It's a bad day! It's a bad day. No, it's a good day. Get you on a stick, huh? Isn't it, isn't it cute when he smiles? You yeah. got the little, the little He's happy, you can He's tell. Happy dog. Happy You're a good boy. Grandma Carol was gone. Just got back. She was gone for uh, a day or so. And uh, we <coughs> took care of the dogs, fed them, and uh, watered them. And uh, I about let them starve last night. <laughs> <laughs> I was supposed to feed them before the evening feeding. And I go, oh, we won't be gone that long. Yeah, we got home, what, 8.45, 9? Uh, yeah, it was 9 o'clock. Yeah, yeah they, were, they, they, were, nine they were ready. Mosquito on his, did you see him? Mosquito on his nose. Oh, he Poor didn't guy. do nothing wrong. Poor guy, you get that mosquito right there. Let me scratch. You feel good right there? Ah, 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 right there. I got you. <laughs> I got you, buddy. I got you back. Um, so, work week for Jin Jin, work week for Tim Tim. Yeah. Um, you don't get to lay in the bed when I get up in the morning. I do not. I well, uh, what time? What, you leaving? What time you leaving? I usually leave around four. So yeah, see, I'm not getting up before, before you get up. Yeah. yeah. So I'll probably end up getting up about that time a little early. Um, still trying to get everything situated at work, get all of that going. Um, it's exciting. It's exciting. A lot of a lot of new changes coming. Mm -hmm. And mess speaking of new changes. I, I'm changing something. And uh, a lot of this has to do with, with the feedback from the people. Um, barn aluminiums were were big for a really long time. And a barn aluminium is typically a, a metal building. Uh, often it's a pole barn type building, concrete slab, big metal building, and it usually has a living space in it, and then it has these big open bays for like farm equipment or tractors, boats, RVs. It's kind of a mix between a uh, house and storage. You know, a barn, barn dominium. It, you know, usually they're metal. They're hardly ever like, you know, a stick frame or wood. And I've been calling mine a barn dominium. You're like, Tim, we've seen your plans. 
uh, it's 1,600 square foot. <laughs> Most barn dominiums, the bathroom is 1,600 square foot. But I do have a 16 foot by 40 foot great room, and it is the shape of a barn. It's a matter of fact, it looks just like my old barn. It's, it's the same shape. I use that as a template, and I designed the rooms and all that stuff. Uh, Jin Jin helped me uh, correct it because I had the, the, the masculine thought for plan, and she's like, yeah, I don't think that's going to work. <laughs> Well, I don't think I did that. I think other people other suggested people, it. Other people said Jin Jin probably going to want her own closet. Jin Jin probably going to want her own sink. She yeah, you, sink. you had one sink in there. What the, it, it, was, it, it was just, yeah, okay, yeah, you're right. <laughs> See, I mean, that's why I needed that feminine, you know, uh, touch. And the, the, the guest, we made the, the guest bedroom smaller, the, the master, you know, more closet space, right? Because I just yeah. had the one closet and I had the other, yeah, I had two small closets. Now I got Yeah, you two didn't, you didn't have a pantry. I, well, yeah, you didn't have yeah, a pantry. Yeah, yeah it, was, it was all kind of a combo there. But anyway, it's a barn. It's a house. We're gonna call it the Ridge Barn House. It's a barn house. Okay. And I'm starting a new trend, okay? This is a new trend. Anytime you see people building a house that resembles a barn or used to be a barn. Hey, that's Tim's Ridge Barn House. <laughs> Ridge Life came up with the whole concept. I'm the first person to ever build a house that looks like a barn. Are you now? <laughs> no, okay. No. But I am taking it. I am running with it, and uh, it's going to be called the Ridge Barn House. No longer the Barn Dominium build. It's the Ridge Barn House. Okay. I'm going to go back and change all the titles, barn the old house. stuff, and everything. It's the Ridge Barn House. It kind of just flows. Barn dominium. That's kind of hard. That's like that's like Paul no. Honeyman and the aluminium. That's why you say barndo. Barn. You do say barndo, but everybody does a barndo nowadays, right? Everybody's doing a barndo. Only one person will have a barn house. I yeah, will be the only you. one with a barn house. It makes sense, right? Yeah. Let's go up to the barn house. We're not going to the G Grandma Carol's log cabin. We're not going to the you know livestock barn. We're not going. It's it's the ridge barn house. Go up on the ridge, the barn house. It's the barn house. Right. Sounds good. Everyone knows that. It's the barn house. <laughs> uh oh, here comes the dare the little devil. Cammy, the French bulldog. Come here, Cammy. Have they seen her? Yeah, they've seen her. Come okay. here, Cammy. Oh. Come here. Snort, snort. Come here. Come here. You don't want me, do you? Come on. Snort, snort. Come, on. Come here. Come say hi. Oh, oh. This is Cammy. <laughs> She's like, what are you doing? <laughs> this is Cammy. Here's Norton. Yeah. Tater says, I want some. I want some. She's so hyper. She is so hyper. She's a puppy, too. They're about the same age, I think. Didn't they play together? Yeah, they play. Yeah, believe it or not, they play together. Oh, goodness. <laughs> <laughs> look, at, look at Tater's biting her. I mean, she's play bite. Look at that. He's jealous. Oh, he is yeah. super jealous. Yeah. Go play with uh, Tater. Oh, she said, leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> she snapped at him. Ah, uh, yeah, I think it's, it's a playful. Yeah. He actually jumped back though, didn't he? Yeah, yeah. he did. All right, guys, we're gonna let you go. It's been a great, great weekend, and uh, we'll have tons of videos coming out from the family, family fellas fishing fiesta. Frenzy. Frenzy. <laughs> <sighs> okay. So, guys, until next time. Hope everyone has a blessed, blessed day. Keep rambling. Go Ridge Live. Woo! <laughs>